Hey guys, welcome to another lunch hour review. Today I'm going to Arby's. Um, a couple weeks ago I tried the one of the King's Hawaiian. I thought it was the King's Hawaiian. Later found out it wasn't. It was just the regular bun. So I'm going to try a different sandwich, but a King Hawaiian sandwich regardless. And I see they have uh, some kind of orange cream shake. I might try that just because it sounds good. I'm just going to be honest. I completely forgot to hit record. I put the camera up there and uh, didn't hit record. So I ordered everything, got it. Um, it didn't take any time at all. Super, super friendly. Um, it happens. I can't repeat it. I can't repeat the process. I can't go back through line again and act like I did. So, so you're just gonna have to live with uh, with me not going through drive through I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, I try to remember, but for some reason, I don't know. I, would, I just didn't hit the record button. So, um, what I ordered was let me pull up here. Um, I ordered the. Uh, Big Kahuna, uh, the King's Hawaiian Big Kahuna sandwich, the um, with onion rings. I ordered the meal; it was a small meal, and um, I just have my total. And I ordered one of their a small um, orange cream shake. The total was thirteen eighty one, and it doesn't list out tax and stuff separately on this. I think it doesn't. Hold on, there's a different receipt. Um, yeah, here it is. Uh, the Big Kahuna meal with a small. Onion rings and a Diet Coke is uh, was $9.99 plus 25 cents for the onion ring upgrade. The small orange uh, cream was uh, $2.79. So it was $13.03 and then you add tax, it was $13.81. So that, that was my total. So again, sorry I didn't order. Super nice, super nice uh, people. Um, didn't take probably five minutes to get my food. I mean, it was super, super quick. So anyway, I'm going to uh, get the camera, I mean, uh, get my food out and uh, be able to show you what it looks like and I'll be, I'll be right back. Onion rings. And here is the sandwich. You can see it's got the chicken and ham and I think it has brisket and cheese and some kind of uh, pineapple habanero sauce. I think that's what's on there. So anyway, that's it. And then the shake, I don't want to make a mess because it's got whipped cream like poking out of the top of it. But there's the small shake, the orange cream shake. So anyway, I'm going to get my camera turned around and I'll be back. Okay, right, remember to hit record this time. Um, so I got five onion rings. One of them's kind of small, but not a decent amount of onion rings. Um, usually you don't get tons of onion rings anyway, but they're really thick um, onion rings. And they're very well breaded. They feel really crispy. So I'm going to lean over this tray because I'm going to drop crumbs everywhere if I don't. Hmm. I love the crispy coating. It's very, uh, very well breaded. Um, and these are not battered, they're breaded. They're, at least they seem breaded. Um, almost like a cornmeal on the outside. I don't think it is, but that's what it seems like. Hmm. Those are good. They're not really an oniony onion ring. I mean, I'm sure there's onion in there. Now I can see onion in there. But um, it's not a super strong onion, so... You know, if you're really wanting a strong onion ring flavor, an onion flavor, you probably don't want to get these, but um, they're pretty good. I like them. I've had some onion rings that were literally um, so strong you couldn't hardly eat them. That's how strong the onions were. Okay. Now for the <laughs> mega sound. This sandwich is freaking huge. Bag on. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this. Well, you know, I'm gonna eat it because it sounds, it looks really good. But that's a big sandwich. Good thing I got a big mouth. Look at the bite on that thing. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna try to get as much stuff as I can. There's what it looks like after I bit into it. Mm. That um, that chicken has a really good flavor. It's very crispy. Um, there's some cheese stuck to that paper. Oh, it's a very crispy chicken. I don't know. I'm sure I've had their chicken before. I just don't remember it. Um, the King's Hawaiian roll is good. It's very soft. It's um, sorry. There's like that sauce on there. The uh, there's so much stuff going on with this one though. The King's Hawaiian doesn't is not a, like a standout flavor, although um, I do like the texture of it, and you, you can tell it's not just a regular bun, a regular roll. I love that sauce. That sauce is good. 
I don't I asked for Arby sauce, but I don't think I'll need it with this. Because it has plenty of its own sauce on there. So I can't imagine adding um, Arby sauce. Maybe if you wanted something a little um, with a little more kick to it, you could add the horsey sauce, the horseradish. But um, it's got a little bit of spice to the the um, I think it's pine. I know it's pineapple something. I think it's pineapple habanero, but it doesn't taste hot like a habanero pepper or hot. Um, it's got a little bit of spice to it, but that's it. Um, it's not like it's a spicy sandwich. It's not. So if you're worried about that, don't worry. But um, that is a that's a huge sandwich. Oh yeah, there you go. I got that smokiness of that brisket and the ham and the chicken and the sauce. That is really good. Um, if you want a big sandwich, you can definitely try this out. If you want something smaller, you'd have to order one of these and probably cut it in half because it's a it's a big sandwich. I mean, it's a it's a filling filling little boy right there. So in the bun, you can tell the difference in the texture. It's it's a much uh, it's got like a stickiness to the outside where they coat it with the uh, with the uh, whatever they coat it with. I guess uh, Hawaiian pineapples. I don't know what they. But anyway, it's always had it has a little Kings Wine always did to me had a little different texture on the outside on the crust, um, and they're softer, which you get that with this. So it's that's awesome. So this the sandwich is. I'm going to give it a five. There's just absolutely nothing wrong with it. Really good flavors, good mix of flavors. And when you get into that, that ham and brisket, you really, the flavors just like super come out. You get that smokiness, crispiness of the chicken. Um, again, it's not spicy, but it is spiced. So you get the savory spice of it, but it's not spiced like, like in burning your mouth off. So, um, yeah, this is just awesome. I would get this again anytime. It is a big sandwich though. So just keep that in mind. Onion rings are good. Um, you know, I don't have any problems with the onion rings at all. So the the sandwich and the, and the onion rings are a five. So let me try, I'm gonna rate this separately because it's a completely different thing. But I'm gonna try this orange shake and it's probably not melted enough to where I can, I'll probably give myself a brain hemorrhage, but here we go. Now, I may have tried this before. I don't remember. If I didn't, I should have. That is really, really good. It tastes like a um, one of the orange um, creamsicle ice, um, popsicles with the little, like the white ice cream inside and the orange on the outside. It tastes just like one of those that's been um, made into ice cream and put in a milkshake. That's exactly what it tastes like. Um, if you're wanting an orange milkshake, you can't beat that. That's a five as well. So everything here is excellent. If you go to Arby's and you want something a little different, then get the Big Kahuna. I think you'll really like it. If you like orange milkshakes, if you want milkshake, I love milkshakes. Uh, try the orange cream milkshake. It's a limited edition. So uh, try it out. I think you'll really like it.